What's up, legends? Yeah, I know, I know, I know it's been a long time, but I'm back, man. And today is a special, special day because we are finally going to be taking a look at the most anticipated release for me going into 2021. Our first U.S. release, the infamous and legendary Yeezy 700 V1 in the Sun colorway. Now, anybody that knows me or has been watching the Yeezy Talk podcast, salute to my brothers. Y'all know that this has been the most anticipated release for me. I've been looking forward to these. And it wasn't an easy cop, man. This release caught everybody by surprise. It was much more limited than people expected. I took an L personally on Yeezy Supply. It sold out in about 10 minutes. And then as far as the raffle goes, I pretty much seen I didn't get a notification within the first 10 to 15 minutes, so I knew it was an L for me. So immediately, I had to jump on GOAT and grab these because these were a must cop. Now luckily I was able to jump on and, and grab them before prices just started skyrocketing. So I got it just a little over retail. Now the crazy thing is, the seller that sold them to me realized that the prices were going up. He then canceled my order. So I had to pay about $50 more to place a new order. But GOAT got these to me extremely fast. It only took about four days to get authenticated and then shipped to me. And now we got them, man. So salute the GOAT. And let's go ahead and open these up and take a look at them. All right, so of course you got your regular 700 box. You got your big boost on the side. Got the size tag right here. Like I tell you guys every single time and I will never stop letting you guys know. For me personally, I would say always go at least a half a size or a full size up on any Yeezy. Just to leave yourself room because they fit very snug. Even though the V1, I don't feel like fits as snug as some of the newer silhouettes and sneakers. I would say it's always safe to go at least a half a size or full size up. All right, you guys, so let's open these up and take a look at them. Man. All right, you guys, so my first impression of these, man, is a lot of different things, man. These colors are so vibrant. They really just stand out. This yellow color is not as bright as I thought it was from a lot of the photos and mock-ups early on. It's really like a darker yellow mustard color. And that's the great thing about the 700 V1, man. There's so much to really talk about and break down because there's so many different elements and materials on the sneaker. But yeah, man, what you guys think of these? First impression, man. Fire. You know, of course, you got the yellow toe box fang that we've seen on the Quantum and the 700 v2 and the 700 v3 this is actually where the fang toe box was originated all suede and that nice yellow mustard color they got the wave runner signature colors here on the toe box as well you got that blue in the middle with that forest green type of color on both sides that black suede going around the side onto the top of the toe box as well this lace area here this is 3M, so it shines beautifully, man. Really makes them stand out. Now let's get to the midsole, man. This midsole is crazy. Like I said, this again is not as bright or vibrant as it seemed, but it's just one of those Yeezy colors, man. It's like an orange type of peach color. It's a lot lighter than a regular orange. Um, then you got the, the circles on the midsole, the signature 700 soles. Salute the Yay, Stephen Smith, and Ding for this amazing design. You still got these two 3M circles here on the side with the black suede as well. And then on the upper here, you got this yellow mesh. And of course you got the 3M three stripes that reveal under here when you shine the light on it, man. Really nice touch, one of my favorite parts about the sneaker. Now you got this premium leather material as well on the upper in that mustard color. Really good quality, man. I like it a lot. On the tongue here, as you can see, you have that same yellow mesh. It's in a lighter yellow. Uh, I would say it's maybe about four different yellows on this sneaker when it comes to the leather, the tongue, the mesh here on the upper and the toe box. 
even this suede back here. Luckily, we did get the 700 OG Wave Runner tongue, so this one isn't attached like the other ones are, um, some of the newer 700s that we receive. But I can say that this one is not as high as the Wave Runner one. This one I would say is a little shorter, um, but it does, it's not attached to the midsole, so I like that a lot. Now these laces I feel like are a great touch. Even though I don't really like to show the tips of my laces, I'm probably gonna tuck those in. But these laces are a nice touch because there's so many colors on the sneaker. So I felt like it was a great idea to go with like a neutral lace color. So these are like a light gray, almost silver color lace. And then you got that 3M here on the tongue. On the back, man, you got that yellow mustard suede with the 3M circles in the back as well. The insole is like that yellow mustard color as well with the silver writing, Yeezy Adidas, the sole. Now, of course, you got that same signature 700 V1 sole. Got them on the V2s as well. And it's that nice orange color that's on the midsole mixed in with the black. And you got your Adidas logo on the bottom as well. Yeah, man, overall, she was fire, man. As far as comfort goes, 700 V1 is definitely the most comfortable 700. You got the full length boost. I feel like these fit a bit bigger than some of the other silhouettes. It's not as snug. Um, you got more of the dead type shoe vibe. Even though I feel like with this one, they made it a bit more sleek though. But still five either way, these are extremely comfortable. One of the most comfortable Yeezys you can wear. This is definitely, I can say, already gonna be one of the best releases of 2021. At this point, man, the demand for these were extremely high. Uh, the hype from the casual, you know, sneaker heads, Nike heads, Jordan heads, and of course the Yeezy heads, man. Everybody went for these. And it seems as though, man, I don't see the resale on these dropping under 400. Right now, they're really around like 500, 450 in my size. Um, I feel like this week, we may see a small dip. So if you didn't cop these on the retail market, it would be a good time to grab them on the resale market. Because I feel like over time, these are just going to continue to rise. I think it's going to be very similar to the Wave Runner resale. And the thing about these is, I feel like it's going to have a higher demand just because of the fact that girls are going to love these. Kids that can fit um, men's sizes are going to love these, man. And you pretty much get everything that you get from the Wave Runner with a lot more elements as well, in my opinion. So I'm really feeling these a lot, man. If I had to rate these on the Yeezy scale, these are definitely a 10 out of 10, man. You guys tell me in the comment section what you would rate these on the Yeezy scale, 1 through 10. And tell me what are your most anticipated releases for the year so far, man. That's pretty much it on these, man. Salute to all the legends. I'm telling you, I know I've been gone for a while, but I've really thought of a great way to interact with you guys on a weekly basis. So you can expect weekly uploads every week moving forward. If you guys see me miss any week where I don't do an upload, you can hit me on my Instagram at blesscm underscore and find out where I'm at, man. You can hit me in my DM, comment on the picture. Let me have it because I'm not going to miss a week. I'm going to have weekly uploads for you guys. We're going to touch base on some of the news in the Yeezy market. If you guys have any Yeezy questions for me, whether it's some of my favorite silhouettes, favorite colorways, or any questions at all, hit me in a DM on my Instagram because I want to address those in videos as well, man. And make sure you tune into the Yeezy Talk podcast every single Sunday at 8 p.m. Eastern time. We're going to switch it up for 2021, man. So salute to my bro J.A., my bro Prince Mark Anthony, and my bro St. Kansas. We going up 2021. It's the Yeezy Talk takeover, man. So make sure that you follow all my brothers and subscribe to their channels as well because we about to go crazy. I thank you very much for watching the video, man, and just taking the time out your day. Make sure that you like the video, leave a comment, tell me what you would rate these on the Yeezy scale 1 through 10, as well as what's your most anticipated releases for 2021 that we've heard about so far. And make sure that you subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Like I said, weekly uploads on the way, a lot of creative content, man. I've been in the vault just thinking 
trying to figure out how I can do things a little differently. So we're gonna switch it up for 2021. We're gonna work hard and we're gonna go up together, legends. Now I wanna take this second to thank all the legends that have been rocking with me so far. I can't thank you enough and I couldn't do it without you, man. You guys keep me motivated. You guys keep me going and make me wanna to continue to do this. So I hope I inspire you the way that you guys inspire me. And we got a long way to go, but we just getting started, man. So salute to y'all. Thank you very much for taking the time to watch the video. And I'll catch you guys on the next one. Salute to you, legends.